Shalom, and welcome back to Code Searcher. Okay, folks, if you haven't heard, tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, uh, I will be back on the Hagman Show. I do believe it's all three hours, so I just wanted to plug that before we get into what I have for you uh, in this video, which I want to drop back, if you recall, if you watched the video, um, Call Upon His Name in the Day of Trouble is the table we have right here. Folks, this, this table got me thinking about something. You know, almost 60 times in the scripture, it says, uh, or, or it relates to calling upon the name. Um, now, I, I realize there are going to be some out there that are going to be really upset and uneasy about uh, the name of Yahuwah. And I believe that is the correct pronouncing of his name, Yahuwah, uh, with the Vav is a Wah sound, Yahuwah. Um, if you got to call me a sacred namer, so be it. But I'm trying to lead you to truth. And uh, this is where I'm going. Um, Jeremiah, 23rd chapter, is what I remembered in this particular table. And I'm, I'm going to lead you up to something, folks, because I found something very profound yesterday. And I worked on it all night long and was going to get a video out to you of this table right here. Very small area in the Torah only one time it's in the Torah and everything was wiped out so I've spent the morning trying to get this back up to par so I can do a video uh, before uh, tonight's broadcast so um, this is very important but I wanted to set everything up uh, first and what got the 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 mindset or the thinking going on what this means and I'm, let me tell you folks the Ruach has been heavy on me, and the revelation has just been so profound. And you're going to see what I'm talking about in that next table. But let's let's talk about this right here. I want to read, and I'm, you can see the bulk of this right here is is what is in the the actual matrix we're looking at with uh, the axis term. But I want to back up and read from the beginning of uh, 23. Uh, from verse 1 all the way through and point out some things uh, when we do that. Now, bef before we do that, I want to bring up a point that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And I submit to you that we have an enemy, and maybe through uh, the church, the the Roman Catholics, through uh, the Orthodox uh, Yehudi, that were in Babylon when the edict went out that if he, they spoke the name or they said the name and they read the name, that it would be a death sentence. So they, what they did was re, they re, replaced it. Um, and then later in translations into English, things were taken out altogether. So, uh, you know, I want to add those things back in there to the best of my ability. And uh, this all comes from, you know, just getting right into the Hallelujah Scriptures, folks. And if you haven't tried... Reading the Hallelujah Scriptures, I would encourage you to do that. It's a restored name Bible. And uh, from here on out, I'm going to try to be um, citing from the restored name King James Version. So uh, just to let you know that. And, and it, this is not sacred name movement. However, uh, at least I don't consider myself that. Now, now this. Um, I thought this thought that what if I got to stand before my creator and, and he said to me once was my name not worthy to be sacred you know uh, the word says there's only one name where, where by which you can be saved I believe that's Yeshua or Yahshua the, the redeemer the son whose name was cursed by the way uh, if you recall I think it was last year I did this table they cursed his name this was about Yeshua well, guess what they did to the Father? They completely stole his name almost 7,000 times in, in the scriptures where they where, was his name removed. So, um, being a good Berean, or try to be a good Berean, and uh, at least uh, a good leader in what I'm teaching here, I want to share what I have for you, okay? So, we're going to start. With verse 1, Woe unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith Yahuwah. Therefore saith the Elohim, uh, excuse me, the Yahuwah Elohim of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and have driven them away. 
and have not visited him. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith Yahuwah. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of the countries where I have driven them. And this is important to remember, folks. We are living this. And will bring them again to their folds. And they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them. And they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith Yahuwah. Behold, the days come, saith Yahuwah. Then I will raise up unto David a righteous branch, and even a king shall reign and prosper, and he shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. And in the, his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel, we're talking about two here, Judah and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name whereby he shall be called. We're talking about a name here, the, the Yahuwah, our righteousness, or the Adonai, our righteousness, or the Elohim. Uh, it doesn't uh, show here because they've replaced it with the Lord, which is a Baal. Therefore, behold, the days come, say the Elohim, that they shall no more say the Yahuwah liveth, but which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord, but excuse me, but the Yahuwah liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. This is the second exodus here. Uh, in context, in the day of trouble, hear what I'm saying, folks. Yahuwah liveth, which brought the children out of the land of Egypt. The Yahuwah liveth, which brought them and led the seed of the house of Israel, the children of the house of Israel out of the north country, and from all countries whither I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Mine heart within me is broken because of the prophets, and all my bones shake, and I am like a drunken man, and I am like a man whom wine hath overtake, overcome, because of the Elohim, and because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers. For because of the swearing, and the land mourneth, and the pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and all their course is evil, and their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, saith Yahuwah. Wherefore all, wherefore their way shall be unto them as a slippery ways in the darkness, and they shall be driven on and fall therein. For I will bring evil upon them, even in their year of visitation, saith Yahuwah. And I have seen also the prophets of Jerusalem. Excuse me. And I have seen the folly in the prophets of Samaria. And they prophesied in Baal. And they caused my people to err. And I have seen also the prophets of Jerusalem. A horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. And they strengthen also the hands of evildoers. That none doeth return from his wickedness. They are all of them as to me as Sodom, and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Therefore, thus saith Yahuwah of hosts, concerning all prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood, bitterness, and I will make them drink water of gall, and from all, from all the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth unto the land. Thus saith Yahuwah of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you that make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of Yahuwah. They will say unto them that despise me, they despise his name, that Yahuwah hath sent me. Ye shall have peace, and they shall say, Every one that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. For who hath stood in the counsel of Yahuwah, and who hath perceived and heard his word, who hath marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of Yahuwah has gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind, and it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of Yahuwah is not returned until he have executed, and until it had performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, and that's now, Yacharet Yimim, ye shall consider it perfectly. Are you considering it? 
I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they stood in my counsel and caused my people to hear my words, they would have turned them from their evil ways and from their evil doings. Am I not a God? And I'm not Elohim at hand, saith Yahuwah. And am I not Elohim far off? Can any hide himself in a secret place that I shall not see him, saith Yahuwah? Do not I feel heaven and earth, saith Yahuwah? I have heard that the prophets say and prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of deceit of their own heart. Which you think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams? Which they tell every man his neighbor as, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal, for Lord. Is not my word like a fire? saith Yahuwah, and as like a hammer that breaketh rock into pieces. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saith Yahuwah, that steal my words, they steal my name, and they steal my words. Everyone from his neighbor, behold, I am against the prophets that say, Yahuwah, that is used their tongues to say, he saith. Behold, I am against that prophesy false dreams that say Yahuwah and do tell them to cause my people to err by their lies and their likeness and, and <laughs> pardon the interruption and back to our regular broadcast and by their brightness yet I send them not nor commanded them therefore they shall not profit this people at all saith Yahuwah. And when this people or the prophet or priest shall ask thee, saying, What is the burden of Yahuwah? That thou shalt say unto them, What burden? I will even forsake you, saith Yahuwah. And as for the prophet and the priest and the people that shall say the burden of the Lord, even I will punish that man in his house. He shall say to everyone his neighbor and everyone his brother, What hath the Yahuwah answered? And he had said, Elohim spoken, and the burden of Yahuwah shall be in the midst and no more, for every man's word shall be his burden. For ye have perverted the words of the living Yahuwah, and of Elohim of hosts, our Yahuwah. Thus shalt thou say to the prophet, What hath Yahuwah answered thee? And what hath Elohim spoken? But since ye say the burden of Yahuwah, Therefore, thus saith Yahuwah, because ye say this word, the burden of Yahuwah, and I have sent you not, sent, sent, and sent unto you, saying, ye shall not say the burden of, of Yahuwah, therefore I have, therefore behold, I, even I, will utterly forget you, and I will forsake you, and the city that I gave you and their fathers will catch you out of my presence. And I will bring an everlasting reproach unto you, and a perpetual shame, which shall not be forgotten. All right. Now, what have we forgotten? We've forgotten his name. So what does he show me in this table here? And this is what I hear from you, folks. Look, sitting right on top of Moshe, which is a pillar, a foundation. And Moshe is here twice. Moshe. In Moshe, and then written backwards, so Moshe uh, is this way, Moses, and then the name, Hashem, is backwards. And here's the name, Yahuwah. It's also here, Yahuwah. But this is what the access term says, folks. Shov, Sami, Yahuwah. Restore the name of Yahuwah. Right here with Yahuwah crossing in Yahuwah Elohim. But not only that, this is really interesting. Shemini. And if you if you need to uh, get your mind blown, I need you to go watch a video a brother named Eric Bissell put out called Got Oil that he put out at Sukkot. But he talks about Shemini or Shemini Azarets, the eighth uh, feast, uh, as he put it. Eighth being a completion but the base of it, Shema and Shemini, 
oils. So we have here the oil of Elohim, the oil of God, the oil of Elohim. Restore the name El Yahuwah. Really? Now, I did look for a date in here, and I've run several, um, several uh, clusters of years. The only one coming up, and I don't get it, is 2015. It comes up right there. Um, some other words that are here. Uh, reveal, right here, it's every uh, 14 letters. Sharing that shim is reveals from the book, but so fair. It's also here, bet so fair and reveal coming together with the pay. Um, he's also got the Redeemer uh, and Moed coming together. Uh, Dabar, Yahuwah, the word of Yahuwah. And uh, why don't you take a look at the verses that I'm going to point out here. These are amazing. Now, this is uh, Exodus. And we're in third chapter here. And I want to start uh, from the beginning and just read on. And Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of the Median. And he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of Yahuwah, even to Horeb. And the angel of Yahuwah appeared unto him in a flame of fire and out of the midst of the bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Then Moses said, I will, not, I will now turn aside and see the great sight. Why the bush is not burnt? Then, and when Yahuwah saw that he had turned aside to see, Elohim called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Hinani, here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place where thou standest is Kadosh Aharetz, the holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the Yuh I am the Elohim of thy father and of the Elohim of thy of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob and of Mo and Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon Elohim. And Adonai said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and I have heard their cry for by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, to bring them out of the land into a good land and a large, and into a land flowing mil with milk and honey, and into a place the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Pezrezites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherein the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, and thou shalt make, bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto Elohim, Who am I, that I should go unto Pharaoh, that I should bring forth the children out of the uh, land of Israel, the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt? And he said, Certainly, I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee. And when thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve Elohim upon this mountain. And Moses said unto Elohim, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and they shall say unto them, The Elohim of your fathers has sent me unto you, and they shall say unto me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And Yahuwah said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. And who has said, Moreover, unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Elohim, The Adonai Elohim of your father, The Edo, El, uh, Adonai of your, uh, The Elohim of Abraham, The Elohim of Isaac, The Elohim of Jacob, Has sent me unto you, This is my name forever, And this is a memorial, Unto all generations Right there. He reveals his name to Moshe. Moshe, Hashem, the name. He reveals the name. How about that? 
he reveals the name. Now I want you to see this. And this is God, uh, Moshe sitting on top of Yehoshua right there, but also the enemy of Israel, uh, Amalek. And I want you to see what takes place here because this is amazing. Uh, we're in chapter 17, and I'm going to just read that. And all the congregation of Israel journeyed from the wilderness of sin. They were in sin. And after their journeys, they, according to the commandment of Yahuwah, they pitched a tent in Raphadim, where there was no water for the people to drink. Therefore, the people did hide with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. And Moses said unto them, well, Hide ye with me. Wherefore, ye did tempt Yahuwah. The people thirsted there for water and the people murmured against Moses and said wherefore is this that thou hast brought us up out of the land of Egypt to kill us and our children and our cattle with thirst and Moses cried unto Yahuwah saying what shall I do unto thee this people they be almost ready to stone me and Yahuwah said unto Moses go on before the people and take thee the elders of Israel thy rod and where thou smotest the river take in thy hand and go Behold, I will stand before thee upon the rock of Horeb. Thou shalt smite the rock, and there shall come water out of it, and the people may drink. You have been thirsty, that, that thirsty. And Moses did in the sight of the elders of Israel. And they called the place Massa and Meribah, because of the cheat, uh, kiting of the children of Israel, and because they tempted Yahuwah by saying, Is Yahuwah among us or not? They had saw everything they saw. They were delivered out of the taskmasters, and yet they asked in Moses, Is he with us or not? And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose out men and go out and fight with Amalek. For tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill with a rod of Yahuwah in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses said, said unto him, and he fought with Amalek, and Moses and Aaron and her went up onto the top of the hill. And it came to pass, when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands were heavy, and they took a stone, and they put it under him, and he sat thereon. And Aaron and Hur stayed up his hands, and one on each side, and one on the other. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua discomfited Amalek out of, and his people with the edge of the sword. So Yahuwah prevails. And I want you to catch this. Look what happens when he does. And, you, and Yahuwah said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book and rehearse it in the ears of Yahshua, for I will utterly put it out of the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven and Moshe built an altar and a memorial, and he called it Yahuwah Nisi. God is my banner. A name right there. How about that? Now, I want to go on down to, I believe it's this one here. This is where, uh, this is Exodus 32.25. And I love how each one of these are tailored from the Creator. To have a meaning. So we're in uh, 32. And when Moses saw the people were naked. For Aaron had met. Listen. They're down at the mountain now. Listen. This is how far they slip in a couple of a couple of chapters. They're down at the bo bottom. And they are making idols. Okay. Moses just got the, the, uh, the law. It's where it's talking right here. And he came down to the camp, and guess what they're doing? They're building They're building a calf. They're worshiping cows, folks. And when Moses saw the people were naked, and Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among the enemies, then Moses stood at the gate of the camp and said, Who is on Yahuwah's side? Let him come to, unto me. You know, sometimes you got to draw a line in the sand, folks, and say enough is enough. Enough of the idol worship. Who's going to be on Yahuwah's side? Okay, now, now saying that, we do serve a, a, a creator that restores, okay? He restores his own name and he restores his own people back to him. And I want you to see what happened this day, okay? And he said unto them, 
that saith Yahuwah, Elohim of Israel, put every man his sword by his side and go out from the gate throughout the camp and slay every man his brother and every man his companion, every man his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses. And they fell of the people that day, 3,000 men. They lost 3,000. But I want you to know, some years later, after Nasserim took a cross of a murderer, and then the Ruach was given some 40-something days later, 50 days at Pentecost, 3,000 were returned to the kingdom. All right. Now we'll go down to this verse here. And I want you to remember what he says. Right here. <clears throat> 20. This Vakra 20, 26. And it stops with a vob there. It says revealed from the book. Revealed with the vob right there. Ye shall be kadosh unto me, for I am Yahuwah, am kadosh, and have severed you from other people, and ye shall be mine. Right there. With the tav, uh, excuse me, vav, capping the end. The next one with the tav in it is Babin bar. And we are in chapter 11, verse 25 is what I have highlighted. And Yahuwah came down on a cloud, and he spoke unto, them, unto him, and took of the spirit that was upon him, and he gave unto it, unto the seventy elders, and it came to pass. And when the spirit rested upon them, just a few minutes ago, we t uh, 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 verses ago, we talked about uh, what was lost, 3,000. Day of uh, Pentecost, the spirit comes down. Look what happens here, and this is not even Pentecost yet. When the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. But there remained two of them. Here's two witnesses in the camp. One of them was named Eldad and the other was named Medad. And the spirit rested upon them and they went uh, and they were of them that were written and went not out unto the tabernacle. But they prophesied in the camp. And there ran a young man and told Moshe and he said Eldad and Medad do prophesy in the camp. And Yahshua son of Nun, the servant of Moses one of the young men answered and said, My Adonai Moses forbid them. And Moses said unto them, Envious thou for for my sake, would Yahuwah, that all the Adonai's people were prophet, and that Yahuwah would put his spirit upon them? Yes, I would think so. And that is it. And so we have run 28 minutes, minutes in one run. Uh, so praise you, Hua. folks. I will see tonight on the Hagmans. We're going to get into a lot of stuff, folks. A lot of things you want to you want to check out. We're going to be talking about CERN and the fights, uh, gates of hell, uh, the Antichrist, uh, the the harlot, uh, the coming of the snake uh, in a day of trouble, calling upon his name. What we just talked about, and they cursed his name, of course. Uh, so you don't want to miss it. Shalom, and Yahuwah bless you.